Hello welcome to Relation Tales. Today we're going to have some more stories from Reddit. But before we start, it would be so much appreciated if you would subscribe to my channel, like the video if you enjoy it, and maybe leave a comment down below. These simple clicks would mean a lot to the future of this channel and really reward the effort that I put in every day. And now, without further ado, let's go. Here is my story. I've made some seriously bad decisions in my life many times, but never once did I think I'd end up with an ST. It all started when I got a new job and met Jenny. She seemed attractive back then. We would exchange silly jokes and flirt with each other at work. As time went on, things got more touchy-feely between us. It became clear that we needed to explore our connection outside of work, so I took a chance and invited her to my house. That's how we started dating. The first thing I liked about her was that she had an insane fixation and loved me on our lunch break, before work, after work, on the weekends, and pretty much every time she saw me. I had just started dating her when she dropped the bombshell that she had a trip to Vegas planned with her girlfriends. She claimed they had been planning it even before we started dating. At that point, I thought we were exclusive because she was the one who talked about wanting something serious. Despite my reservations, I trusted her, thinking we were still in the honeymoon phase of our relationship. The following night after she left for Vegas, I was peacefully sleeping. My phone rang, and I groggily picked it up, only to realize it was her calling. Confused, I listened to the voicemail she left by mistake. It was around 2 a.m., and I heard sounds that made my stomach churn. She was with another guy. It turned out that I was the other guy in her life, and the person she was really dating was the one she was with that night in Vegas. I felt a mix of shock, hurt, and betrayal as I learned the truth about our relationship. When I realized what was going on, I felt a bit down, but it didn't hit me too hard since I had just started dating her. I didn't care much anymore. I couldn't take her seriously after that and ended up using her for physical intimacy. I even dated other people, just like she was doing to me. I wasn't ready to emotionally commit to the relationship because I knew she cheated and had a lot of issues. I didn't confront her about the voicemail. Instead, I saved it, planning to use it against her later on. After a couple of months, she called me in a hole. She was upset because I never stopped dating other people, though I never hid it from her. She claimed to be a sweet girl who was only dating me, which was ironic considering what I knew from that revealing voicemail. The situation had become a tangled mess of emotions and misunderstandings. It was pretty amusing to see her face when I played the voicemail. She looked terrified, stammering something like, well, you're dating other people too. I responded, yeah, but I'm honest with you, whereas you're constantly lying to me and telling me I'm the only guy you're dating to try and make me feel guilty big difference. She seemed pretty pathetic as things unfolded. She became super attached, but I never took our relationship beyond hooking up. Her shadiness at the beginning made me hesitant to get more involved. I mean, who would want to deal with that? She kept pushing for commitment, but she was always dating other guys on the side. She'd cry, asking me why I didn't want a serious relationship with her, and I'd always bring up the constant stream of guys she dated behind my back. It was a cycle of drama and dishonesty that I didn't want any part of. She was a savage in bed, so I kept hooking up with her for the fun of it while I focused on getting my life in order. I wasn't planning on getting into a serious relationship with her, but it's tough to say no to that kind of connection, right? The catch was, if a girl is honest about not wanting a long-term relationship and a guy goes along with it, that's on him, not her. However, it wasn't the case here because she was also pushing for something long-term despite going on dates with other guys. I didn't know the extent of her relationship or how many guys she was involved with. Honestly, it was just a comfortable situation. She was pretty cool to hang out with, and as I mentioned in another post, she had a crazy fixation and loved to give head all the time, so she'd offer to make me a nice dinner like four nights per week. I was in the process of getting my life together, so I wasn't in a hurry to find someone else. I just went with the flow. One of the worst moments with her was when she got ridiculously drunk, yelling, why don't you love me? I love you so much. She attacked me with an empty wine bottle, chased me down the street still screaming, why don't you love me? Finally, she ended up sobbing in the middle of the street, repeating, I love you so much, as I drove away. It was beyond intense. The final straw came when I discovered I had a treatable STD. I had difficulty urinating, and I knew she was the only one I had been having unprotected X with. When I confronted her, she denied it. I took her to the hospital to get tested. And after finding out she had it too, she started accusing me of being the one who gave it to her. That was it, we broke up, but she kept reaching out to me, making it hard to move on. Eventually, one of the guys she was seeing on the side turned into a serious relationship. I had no clue about it, and he found out she was cheating on him with me, even though I had already cut ties with her. They still ended up getting married, despite that she kept reaching out to me and tried to hook up behind her husband's back. We were still in touch through texts, but she claimed they weren't in a relationship, so she would occasionally try to reach out. It was pretty pathetic. 
Then, unexpectedly, I met the guy. He seemed like an amazing dude. I apologized to him and even played the voicemail she left on my phone, which surprised him because it was his voice. I also told him about the STD, which she had blamed on me, but coincidentally, he had it too and got treated. When she told him, she had lied to him, saying I gave it to her, and that was the reason why she broke up with me. The truth was, I broke up with her, and she was the one still reaching out to me. The whole situation was a web of lies and deceit. After our discussion, we hashed things out, and surprisingly, he forgave me. We had a few drinks together, and during our conversation, I told him about her attempts to cheat, even though they had just bought a house together. The guy was well off, looked like Tim Tebow, and seemed really cool. She definitely didn't deserve him. I showed him proof of her trying to cheat on him with texts like, Husband is out of town this weekend and I'm going to be bored at home alone. I thought that implied something, but I could be wrong. Despite them recently buying a house, I unloaded all this information on him, thinking it would be enough to end their relationship, even though she hadn't texted me recently. The last text was a year earlier when he claimed they were having a rough time. I still believed it would be enough for him to call it quits. Unfortunately, I was wrong. Their relationship seemed to withstand the storm, leaving me puzzled and wondering how someone so good could stay with someone who clearly didn't appreciate him. She called me after I met up with her husband, confronting and threatening me on the phone. A few days later, she surprised me by saying she really wanted to have a kid with me. It was crazy, and I couldn't fathom why her husband didn't divorce her. After our conversation, she used to talk about how if we had a son, he'd be perfect and all that. They've been married for over three years now and she's not pregnant, so I think there may be some issues for them in that department. I'm currently with someone I intend to marry soon, and I wouldn't feel comfortable pretending to entertain that idea, nor do I want to bring that drama back into my life. I genuinely feel for the guy, but if she's cheating, it's not my problem. I am 100% out of that mess and want to keep it that way. You're correct. She started trying again after she found out I was in a committed relationship. It's a situation I'm determined to leave behind and move forward with my own life. I've been 100% ignoring all the texts she sends me, and thankfully, she hasn't tried in a few months. I simply can't deal with how crazy she is. For instance, when we were still involved, she created a fake Facebook account. Then she went through my friend list and messaged every attractive lady friend, claiming to be my ex-girlfriend. She told them I physically and emotionally abused her and that she was just trying to warn others about how terrible I am. Of course, when my friends, who know I'm not like that at all, started sending me screenshots, she even used someone else's pictures. She denied it. I'm completely out of that mess and want no part of it again. I feel sorry for the guy, but I'm not willing to take a bullet for him. It's a tough situation. He seems like a great guy, but the signs are there, and he's choosing to ignore them. It's out of my hands, but I genuinely hope the best for him. What's even worse is that she's gained a lot of weight. Now she looks like a chubby 10-year-old Mexican boy, while he's a soccer coach for a university and still looks the part. I really don't understand how she managed to reel him in. The only thing I can think of is that they went to high school together. She was one of the popular girls, and he's had a thing for her ever since, with that image stuck in his head. It's puzzling. Thanks for your understanding. My life has significantly improved since I cut her out of it. Honestly, I wish I could go back in time and advise myself never to get involved in the first place. Yep, I'm actually inclined towards monogamy, and this situation was just an outlier for me. That's the story. If you liked it, please support us with a like as well as subscribe to our channel. Write in the comments what you think about the story. Thank you for being here with us.